Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a monster capture battle system similar to Power using RPG Maker MZ plus my plugin RPG Maker Action Combat. Firstly, let's see what we're going to create. This is a pretty complex system, so I'm going to try to make it as basic as possible, keep it simple for you guys to catch up. So firstly, we'll do throwing coop. When press Q, we'll spawn event coop from template map. And then the coop will spawn another event called creature, also from template map. Let's visit the template map. So in here, as you can see the cube, it will jump forward from the player. So I'm going to create an event named cube using this graphic. So to achieve the jump effect, I'll use share direction, meaning we'll have the cube match direction of the player. If the player is looking at the right, this event, when created, will also look at the right. <clears throat> and then, you jump forward from that direction by four times. This is similar to this. So after the jumping has finished, I'll display an animation onto this event, like this. It's basically like open the cube animation, you know what I mean? Then after 5 frames, I'll spawn an event called Water Creature. Spawn event is a command from Action Combat plugin. This means you only need to create the group once in this map. Then you can use it unlimited of time without the need to create the cube on every map. After it has jumped and playing animation and spawning water creature event I'll have control cells with A to on and have it wait 60 frames before destroying itself now let's create the water creature you can select any file that you want for the graphic I kinda want when the creature is spawned it will spin around and then have a white flashing animation and then I'll just have control cells with A to on and that's it for this part pay attention to the node tag field you see two node tag here one is friend and one is this this means it will create a health bar onto this event using the health value from after 3 in here I set it to 200, so it will be 200. So we have created the cube and then the spawning creature. But we need to just create an event that control how we will spawn the cube. That is by pressing the, the letter Q. Okay, you can create a common event. So you can press Q in any map. But for this tutorial, I'll just keep it simple. I'll just create an event. In here, I'll have a conditional conditional branch called input dot is triggered Q. Then inside that conditional branch, I'll spawn the event cube at the position of the player. You don't need to care about the rest. To make it more interesting. When spawning the cube, I'll have the player to have some action. In here, you can see the hand swinging. So I'm gonna change the actor to this animation. So I'll use the play frames 1, 6, and 3. It means you play 6 frames from this frame to this frame. 
three means like wait three frames. That's it. The lower the number, the faster the anim animation will play. After the animation has finished, I'll reset the sprite of the actor to idle. Now let's test the game. Now I'll press Q. As you can see, it worked. The cube did jump, play animation, and then spawn in the creature. The creature when spawned, it did finish and have a white flashing animation. So that's it for this part of the tutorial. If you still have a question or don't understand something from the video, please join the Discord so I can support you in real time or just leave a comment under the video. In next part, it will be more difficult as we have to create uh, the behavior for the creature. See you then!